Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Let's go ask Ryan about it then. Ryan be the one to ask about it, right? A few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course, very strange girl. And why did she write the words Devil worshippers all over your car. Well, she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I have no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss it. Really? Oh. Right. Thank you. We have another person to talk to. All right. Nice. Okay, we got a whole other person to talk to. Let's Thank go talk you. to the new person the then. Later. Holy shit, this is going to take forever to ask her about every single fucking thing. Alright, let's just go then. So, at the end of the lane. Did they say the end of the lane? Right here, right? Could that be where Lisa lives? Run down house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? Cats with questions. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Bone Army. I really, really appreciate your support. You're kind and wonderful and awesome. The only way the stream's able to keep going is from people with like you supporting it. So thank you. Go to Paul first, really? Okay. Wait, why? Why would I go to Paul first? Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Bone Army. Why would I go to Paul first? Couple more questions, if that's okay. There's nothing to talk to him about. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. You say he doesn't know Emma? A few more questions, please. Thank you. So what about it? What about not knowing Emma? Contradiction guy? I don't understand what that means, though. So what, where's the contradiction? The chief said on the phone you should make sure he really did not know her. I know that, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. But what's, there's no contradiction there. Why don't I just talk to the new person? Maybe the new person will bring some more information. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Nah, I don't, I don't, there's nothing. He bought a freedom necklace for a student. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Oh, thank ah. God, you got it! Wow! You say you didn't know Emma, uh... Yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one? 
So that means you must have known her, and quite well too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking, and I admit I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. Uh oh. It was a stupid mistake, but that's all it was. So you're saying you tried it on with her? No, I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected while I was at a bridge party. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. All right. Like father, like son. No surprises there. I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. Be back later on if that's okay. All right. All right. Let's let's talk. Uh, let's talk to the new lady. All right. I wonder if she's gonna be a ghost or something. Let's see the ghost. Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take long. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's face is so I'll just funny. Just go in here. Yes. I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh, look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you. Did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Uh-oh! Devil worshippers. They're making demons appear. What? They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where? Could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. They stay inside you. So, how did you get rid of them? I didn't. You still see them. I just don't look. I put... All the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without seeing the other person. Who is the other person? She's like me, but... Older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled. With a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm sorry, I, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? What the fuck? What does that even mean? Well, let's ask everyone about the demons, I guess. 
This guy's so useless, but I guess I'll talk to him anyways. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Seriously, like, seriously. Ask you a couple more things, please. Know anything about these? Nope. Nope. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own. Doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? I must you can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? Thank you, Roars Roars, the for the sub. A couple of times. Welcome back Welcome to the to Bone Army. Successful. And what did she tell you? I really Nothing appreciate much. your support. Except she thought the devil was after her. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What Love did you. you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. She was just like most people, really. Blind to herself. Except she's more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Interesting. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Interesting. Let's ask him about the devil worship thing. Thank you so much for the six whole years of subscription. Just joking. Six months. Thank you so much. Roars, roars. I appreciate your support. Thank you. The only way I can continue doing this stream is with you guys supporting it. With your donations, your bits, with all that stuff. So thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you. And thank you for filling the cup a little bit. Thank you so much. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Am I missing something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. You were misinformed. We're a training company, we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. He got so pissed when he said that. He got so fucking pissed when he said that. Wait. What the fuck? I haven't even asked him about this? Could you tell me a bit about this? Had it designed by an agency. Hmm. And uh, when was that? Last year. Is that when you started the business? Yes, I suppose so. about this have you seen this before looks familiar where did you find it it was uh, in the woods presumably had something to do with Kate or a killer well that's what I'm trying to establish shouldn't it be in an evidence bag inspector in case of contamination I didn't have one with me unfortunately well don't go testing it for DNA will you it's got yours all over it. Yeah, it's kind of dumb, right? Why didn't I ask him about any of this stuff? That was dumb. Wait, what was the thing I wanted to do? Shit, now I forgot what I wanted to say to him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, no interest in the occult, and then, uh... I know, the inspector's so funny. Let's see here. Uh, unlike the bicycle, doesn't... The bicycle? What the fuck's the point of the bicycle? It's so weird. I guess I can't say we're certain. Burger case, so many of course. But the freedom of for Kate. Broken pub window. Cardboard mask. Okay. Let's see here. There's something in the insurance Okay. Liam's death, 
Third eye flyer. Okay, there's nothing here yet. I don't think there's anything here yet. Let's just move on. Thank you. <sighs> Probably be back later. things, please. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalised last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. Oh, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. That's nice of them. That's probably the most unbelievable thing about this whole game. Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, who's been talking? Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, shit. That's interesting. The way she reacted to that is super interesting. Is there anything like him? Hmm. That's super interesting. Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't even know what I want to ask these guys about, but fuck it, I guess, right? I don't know. Actually, I think it's not important. I, uh, I don't want to ask them about it. I feel like I should just talk to him about the Satanism. I feel like that's the most important person to talk to about. Like, what does Simon M have to do with anything? I think it's just a waste of time. Let's talk to him about it. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? You would be. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has psychological problems, diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's <laughs> frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So, you are saying there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly know anything about. I certainly don't recall anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas. We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's not gonna work. Hmm. You smell contradiction? You can show me his answers on the mirror? Sure, why not? Mirror. Mirror. Oh, you're so fucking smart, Zaruk. Oh my god. You're so smart. 
Ah. You're so smart! Wow. So, you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship? <laughs> well, obviously. I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look, we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test, uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing, any medication that they have used in the past, any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Well, touch wood so far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Hmm. 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 I wonder how much importance they actually give to this test. And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Interesting. Can you explain how to drink tequila? Uh, yes. Uh, so essentially what you do is that, uh, you get your shot, obviously. You put salt on your hand, like here. You pour some salt there. And you get a little slice of lime. And, uh, first you, you, uh, you lick like that. Then you take a shot, you down it. Put it on the table, and then you take your lime and you you drink it. Obviously, then you take the lime, you put it in your mouth, and you suck on it. You suck on that lime. You suck on it good. I hope that helps. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. All right, so I need to ask. Uh, I can ask the dad about that. That seems like a good thing to ask him. Few more questions, please. Can you tell me a bit about this, please? Uh, it's the Atlas Aptitude Test. What do you want to know? What does it test exactly? It's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Hmm. Lisa. You are well informed. And what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? Uh, we increased the entrance age to 21. No, it wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and selling us, did we? Interesting. I just realized something. No fucking way. Do you see this, uh... You see this tape right here? See that tape? Look at the, uh... Look at the broken mirror. Or the broken window. Fuck, you can't see a picture of it. But that same tape is on the broken window. Does that mean anything? There's a driver's license, right? And then that same thing is on the broken window. They say the auto hypnosis stuff. Let's see. Okay, let's let's try it about Atlas auto hypnosis. Of course, it might be possibly be heard. Dance. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh yes. You're so smart. So nobody has ever been affected by auto hypnosis. 
except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? Nonsense. Are they? Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. Really? She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident, flirty. With whom? You mean with whom? With whom? Pretty much everybody. Including me, as I remember. You dirty bird. Really? You dirty, And, dirty uh, bird. Did you respond? I don't get into relationships with students, Inspector. Company policy. It's not professional. You feel like Al? Interesting admission that Kate flirted with him. There's no way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Kate? Kate. Be Who's... back later on if that's okay. Who's Kate again? Which one's Kate again? Kate. He just admitted that he, that Kate wanted a relationship with him. That's what he did. All right, fuck it. Let's go talk to the inspector. No, 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 no. Kate's dead girl. <gasps> oh. What did Paul say about Kate? That he had a relationship with her or something. Or that she wanted a relationship with him. Let's call it let's call it chief. Let's call it chief. Let's call let's call it chief. Said that Kate wanted a relationship with him. You'll hear it right now. I'm here. Go on, Jenks. Chief, uh, so Paul admitted that they made a few changes because of Lisa's reaction to the course, but he wasn't giving anything away. They're still all denying the devil worship. Oh, and he mentioned that Kate had flirted with him. How old is he? Well, he suspected she was gold digging. He says he turned her down anyway. He says he doesn't get involved with students. Well, I wouldn't take Paul Rand's word for that. Are you sure it wasn't him trying it on with Kate? I can try to find out. Do that. And make sure he hasn't tried it on with anyone else either. He's a smooth operator by the sound of it, Jenks. The worst kind. Okay, thanks, Chief. I'll call later. All right, we gotta talk to Paul more. He's a smooth operator by the looks of it. It certainly does seem like it. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. A smooth operator by the looks of it. All right, let's see here. No truth in these accusations. Okay, Emma. Okay. Once tried to date Emma. Once tried to date Emma. Okay, no truth in Lisa's accusations. Okay. There was something about... Let's try to date Emma. Oh, they once tried to date Emma. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to talk to Emma then, right? But I can't talk to her about that. What about... No, 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 It has to be something about the necklace. I feel like the necklace is important. Because all the people who he tried to date, I think, wore that necklace or something like that. Kate's argument. Didn't hear about the argument. Business started last year. 
Hey, what's up guys? Bone Clinks here. I sure do appreciate you checking out my video and watching it till the end. That sure is moist. If you would like to see more videos by me or subscribe, you can do so by clicking on the links here and there. Wow, such professionalism. Isn't it amazing? The wonders of the internet. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.